I'm Josh Bishop from Master Electronics, and today we're going to learn more about Honeywell's pressure switches and transducers. Honeywell has many different types of pressure-related products, but with me today, I have an example of the MLH series transducers and a couple examples of the 5000 series switches. I actually set up one of the 5000 series to show how easy it is to use, but first, let's go over the MLH series. This is part of the MLH series heavy duty pressure transducer line that has an ASICs inside to provide digital output and temperature compensation. The media isolated metal diaphragm design are suited for demanding applications where precision and durability are paramount. The MLH series has a plus minus 0.25% full scale accuracy best fit straight line with a series pressure range of 6 bar to 550 bar or 50 psi to 8000 psi. It has a less than 2 millisecond response time giving both quick and accurate readings. And being internally amplified, it reduces bill of materials and overall cost. The IP65 or higher rating in all metal wetted parts means that a wide range of pressure mediums, both gas and fluid, will work with the MLH series without any reduction in service life or accuracy. And the lack of internal elastomeric seals means that you won't be struggling with O-ring compatibility issues. An internal reverse voltage protection eliminates the concern of accidentally miswiring the part and causing damage. The MLH series is a great way to get the precision pressure readings in very tough environments. If you need a simple yes-no logic in a pressure switch, the 5000 series is up to the task. The 5000 series of pressure switches are switches that are either normally open or normally closed, and once you pass the set pressure point, they switch states. They're designed specifically for extended duty applications, giving you a product that will provide years of worry-free operation. A Kapton diaphragm provides an inner interface allowing many different pressure mediums, from air to motor oil to jet fuel. There are different terminal options. This is a screw terminal, and it's great due to its ease of use and flexibility. But there are also the Metropack connector versions if you need a tight seal on the termination end. These are adjustable from anywhere between 0.5 and 150 PSI, depending on the model you get, and have proof pressure ratings of 500 PSI and burst pressure ratings at either 750 or 1250 PSI. As promised, I'm going to show one of these 5000 series switches in action. I took the standard 1 8 inch NPT connection and used a quarter inch adapter and an air chuck to make a quick demo and be able to hook this up to my air compressor. I've also attached a multimeter to the outputs. The operation is extremely simple. As you can see, the switch is normally open, but as soon as I connect it to pressure, it closes and the resistance drops. I was surprised when I tested it that I couldn't hear anything. I don't know if that matters in your application, but I was expecting a click or a pop as it changed. This is factory preset for a very low PSI, but it's adjustable by taking this top rubber piece off, which you can do pretty easily with a screwdriver, and then use an Allen wrench to adjust the pressure set point. Honeywell has also designed this so that the set point won't wander over time. And that's it. The 5000 series of pressure switches are simple, robust, and easily adaptable for a wide variety of applications. To learn more about Honeywell's pressure switches and transducers, go to masterelectronics.com.